It's Tuesday morning. Um, I'm gonna start my morning with something warm. Um, I'm really trying to cut out caffeine first thing in the morning just because I was consuming so much caffeine that like it wasn't even doing anything to me. It was making me feel normal and I don't want that like, I don't wanna feel normal from having caffeine. So um, I'm starting my morning off with mud water. Um, I talk about it all the time if you've been with me for a while, like you know what mud water is. Mud water is a basically like my coffee replacement. It's a mixture of different mushrooms, um, masala chai, um, and cinnamon, turmeric, Himalayan sea salt, and it just has like a bunch of different adaptogen mushrooms in it, and it is so good. I love the earthy flavor. I do add creamer to it to make it nice and sweet. But that doesn't bother me because I've been using creamer consistently for like forever. So I know how it affects my body. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make that real quick and relax. I need to wake up a little bit more. I have therapy in a little bit. So hopefully I can like be awake before then so we can actually get some real work done. <laughs> a few moments later. I just got done with therapy, um, which I uh, highly recommend. Even if you don't think you need therapy, I still think that you should go to therapy. Um, I'll leave a link down below. I use BetterHelp and I really like it. Um, this isn't like, you know, like a sponsored thing or anything. It's just a link that everybody who uses BetterHelp gets. Um, and you get a free week and then it gives me a free week or I can gift that free week if anybody wants it. Um, so I'm gonna have some breakfast now. Um, and let me show you um, how my fridge is kind of set up. So what I like to do is prep a lot of food. Um, and I don't mean like just spend a whole day cooking, although sometimes I do. It's just every time you cook something, just make a little bit of extra because you're already cooking it. So we have two adults in this house and I will cook for like six. Well, for breakfast this morning, um, I had made a tofu scramble and the tofu scramble is kind of like just scrambled eggs. You just take a block of tofu and crumble it up and it resembles eggs and you just cook it the same way you would eggs. So let me show you what it looks like. There's just some zucchini, spinach, uh, I think there's onion, mushroom, and then tofu. And I'm just gonna pop in the microwave. So I just have some little tortillas and then I'm just gonna like pick it up and pop it in my mouth hole. Um, this is my favorite breakfast of all time. It heats well, it's full of protein, it's lower in calories, it has lots of veggies, and it's just, it's so, so good. So, 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 so tasty. It's about 12.30 now. Got my chiropractor appointment done. Took the kids to get their free slushies on 7-Eleven day. Um, stopped by the bean store, our local bean store. We're so lucky that um, we have beans growing here. But I am kind of hungry now, so I'm going to eat some food. And um, um, I don't know really quite what I wanna eat, but let me see my option. We do have some pre-steamed potatoes, and I think I'm gonna have some of those with, ooh, what do we have in here? With some, I think I'm gonna have potatoes, chicken, and then, okay, this sounds weird, but just like cold iceberg lettuce, like just chopped up, or not even chopped up, like I can just eat it like this. It's so freaking good. And what else? We have some roasted sweet bell pepper hummus. I think I'm gonna make something with this right here. Yes. So what my plan is moving forward is ignore the dishes I'm missing. So my plan is what my plan is moving forward is for nutrition to just log what I'm eating right now. Um, I'm not changing anything. I'm gonna do my best to eat whole foods just like I normally do limit my processed foods and just make sure that I have vegetables with every meal. And that's something that I strive to do no matter what. Um, but right now, since I'm adding in so much exercise and just trying to get into a habit, right now all I'm doing is logging my food. I'm gonna be using my app, the Awakened Cardio Kickboxing app to log my meals um, because I truly enjoy it. it 
um, allows me um, on the trainer side to see so many graphs and on the user side you can see all of your graphs and everything of um, like averages for things um, and to see trends so I'm gonna be logging that probably for like two weeks maybe three depending and just kind of see where my baseline is at see how my body changes see what my weight does and then make adjustments from there um, I do have nutrition clients and this is something that I like to do with them too I don't like to just jump in and be like you need to eat this amount of food on these days for this long and you should lose five pounds or you should see muscle gain or whatever I go off of trends what's working what's not and make small changes from there so I'm gonna be doing that with myself for the first depending on how just how it feels really first two three weeks just just logging food not making not making any changes and just um, doing my best to eat whole foods veggies and fruits and um, we'll go from there so tried not to do it, but I did it anyway. It just happened so fast. And I got a Starbucks. <laughs> I got a coffee. It's about 3.30. Uh, I'm getting ready for my classes here and I just like, I needed some caffeine. Um, so I'm going to enjoy my oat milk latte. Two pumps vanilla, two pumps macadamia syrup. It's so good. It always feels weird to me talking about nutrition like to a general audience because nutrition is so individualized like you can't sit here and tell someone like what to eat when there's like a million ways to do it everybody's different everybody's different everybody's gut health is different everyone's preferences are different not everyone likes broccoli not everyone likes tofu so it's like kind of like um it feels weird to me so just a like a disclaimer what works for me might not work for you. How I eat, we could eat exactly the same way, work out exactly the same way, and we would still get different results. So um, take everything kind of with a grain of salt. Um, there's no right or wrong way. I mean, there's definitely a wrong way to eat, and there's definitely a, a healthier way to eat. <laughs> but like, don't take nutrition advice, especially from someone you're randomly watching on YouTube like for full fact um so yeah nutrition is weird i feel weird talking about it that's like what i specialize in it's what i went to school for and i still feel really weird talking about it i would much rather do it one-on-one -on -one. um and i am taking nutrition clients so if that is something you're interested um there's a link in the description where you can apply um, I'm very selective, so I have one spot open at this moment, but that's not what I'm getting at. The point is, is it's weird talking to like a mass audience about food for me anyway. So I'm just showing you my experience. Please don't um, think that what I'm doing is the, the right way or the correct way. Um, uh, anyway, I'm gonna get ready for these classes probably have some snacks in between. I probably won't talk because I get nervous um, when there's other people around, but I'll show you like what I eat in between classes and what I'm gonna eat afterwards um, here at the studio. It is the end of the day. It's about 8.20 and I just finished my classes. Um, I stayed pretty hydrated today and yeah, I'm just gonna snack. I found these really cool it's like a version of snail mix, but they have like uh, chickpeas and fava crisps and things, but it's like a trail mix, um, but it's got like some really fun stuff in here and it's peanut free, there's pretzels. So I'm just gonna kind of snack on this while I edit. And yeah, that is the end of my day. Um, again, um, Man, it's funny because I was like, 
going to try not to eat a lot of processed foods and like basically from that point on all I ate was like processed foods but you know what this is real life um and yeah I'm not perfect I don't plan on being perfect um the best we can do is try <laughs> so I can't wait to look back in a couple weeks and see um how my eating has been changing over or not changing how my you know what my averages are for these next two to three weeks and um, seeing what changes need to be made. <sighs> All right, have a good night. We'll see ya.